Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. When developing any enterprise application, you will find some huge case where certain personal information data must be exposed in hidden format or it must be masked in a way to others. For example, if you log in into any internet banking, it will mask your personal information like the way it masks the card number. Okay. Similarly, if you will try to reset password in Google or any Gmail account, it will mask your mobile number for the security purpose. Can you see here? Get a verification code at some star and then last two digit mobile number. Like this, you can find n number of use case where you must need to mask confidential information or PII information. This personal information data can be your social security number or it can be your address, telephone number, etc. So today, I will show you how we can perform this data masking in backend code. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So to demonstrate this data masking implementation, I have created one small project where I have created one DTO class and this DTO class contains couple of field ID, name, social security number, phone number, age, username and password. Okay. And also it contains list of account details. If you will expand this class, you will find account holder name, account number and account type. Okay. So if you observe carefully, there are few attributes which is confidential for me. SSN number and phone number, social security number and phone number and password and if you observe here this account number. Okay. This information I should not expose directly as a response. Okay. Before I send it back as a response in the form of JSON or in the form of any object type, I need to mask them. Otherwise someone can misuse it. Right. And also if you observe this is the DTO class and I have created a controller class with two endpoints get all the user and get the user by id if you'll go to the service implementation of get all user i have hard coded to user object and i'm returning them and get user will filter from them this is the simple get api implementation okay now let me show you this how currently we are getting the response go to the browser hit localhost 8080 slash users can you see here we are getting the response here id name ssn and phone number is completely visible here so anyone can misuse it right and password and even account number same for other user all the input which is confidential we should not display as a plain string or json string before we send it back to the browser or before we send it back to the client we must need to mask them okay now that is what we are going to understand how we can mask the input while performing the serialize and deserialize the JSON object. Okay, that is what something called data masking using Jackson API. So just go to the code. If you go to the DTO class, we want to mask these two fields and this password. So it will be very simple approach. Can you create our own custom annotation? by overriding the Jackson behavior, telling to the Jackson that, hey, can you mask the input where I am annotating the annotation which I created for masking the data? Yes, that is as much as simple. So let's start with the creating annotation. I'll create a package called encrypt or you can give any name. Then just create an annotation. You can give the annotation name. Let me give mask data. Now here, what you can do, you just need to define the retention policy, which will be, I want to implement this annotation at runtime. So you can define retention policy runtime. Okay. Also, you need to define the target. You want to apply this annotation on top of method or field or class label that you need to define. Okay. So I will define, I want to define. Uh, apply this particular annotation on top of field. Apart from that, 
also you need to annotate here jackson annotations insights which will helps us to override the jackson behavior okay and also you need to tell to the jackson that while serializing or deserializing just use the class what i am giving okay and give your own serializable class where you want to perform this data masking okay so i will just create a class or first define it then we will create it then just define the class name let me define now let me create the class okay so if you observe this class extends from json serializer and it will force you to implement the serialize method just override it now you will get the input field from here okay now it is up to you how you want to play with that input how you want to mask them or uh, how you want to manipulate that particular string okay so that is what something the masking we want to perform right so what i will do i will just try to get the field first so simple one string uh, value or string p double i p double i stands for personal identifiable information okay so i'll get it from the value now once you get the value then you need to display only the last four character and rest all the character you can mask them with any pattern you can mask with the star or you can mask with anything whatever you want okay now simply what i can do i have the value with me then i will replace all i will play with that string with the regular expression okay so what i am saying here escape the last four character and replace all the character with pattern x now once you have done this then simply tell to this json generator hey generator the value what i am giving to you just mask it and write it as a string to the response or while performing the serialize p double i okay that's it now we have created this annotation annotation name is mask data and we have provided the implementation of this annotation inside this serializer class where we have customized the way we want the json value to be serialized and display as part of the response so can we simply add this annotation wherever you want to mask the input let's try it out go to the user i want this field to be mask then i want this phone number to be mask also i want this password to be mask now go to the account details i also want to mask in the account number see this is very simple i have created my own custom annotation where i have customized my own serializer similar way you can also customize your own deserializer and also you can implement the spring security so that only privileged user can view the complete data and rest all the user will get the mask value okay you could play with this particular scenario with n number of implementation so this is the simple approach what i have referred here now all good we have specified in all the field wherever we want to mask them now simply rerun the project and we'll verify the behavior so you can see here it started on port 8080 just go to the browser this is the earlier response right where ssn and phone number password everything is hard coded here and we have changed the code let me refresh the same endpoint can you see here the way we have implemented the regex it only displaying the four character rest all the character was masked with the value x what we have given in the code while performing the serialize can you see here password is not considered here let me verify it so we have used the special character in the field and if you will see the implementation class either you need to include the special character as part of your regular expression or you must need to remove the special character from your password so let's try removing the special character 
just rerun it go to the browser just refresh it can you see here a password also must now and account number same for user 2 smith and his password and his account number okay so this is how you need to mask the response way before returning it back to the client application okay that way you will be in the secure position even though someone can inspect it they can't get the actual value that is what i have shown you the real time implementation right if you go and check in any internet banking or mobile banking they will mask your card details until unless you logged in successfully once you logged in successfully you might see your value but before that it won't get reflected okay similarly you need to play with the serializer and deserializer the way you want to format the data or the way you want to mask the data okay do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept